In this question, we want to find stiffness at A and carryover factor from A to B using column analogy method. To solve this question using column analogy method, the first step is to draw analogous column. The analogous column will be a short column with width of cross section L and breadth 1 upon EI. So the analogous column will be L and breadth 1 upon EI and this is the cross section of the analogous column. The side view will be this is the height which is short and this is side view. This is edge A, this is edge B, this is point A, this is point B. On this analogous column I apply a unit load at A corresponding to unit rotation at end A of our beam. Because of this unit load, the pressure at the base of the column can be written as F by A plus minus M dash upon I dash into X. The F is resultant of the force acting on analogous column cross section. A is the area of cross section of analogous column. M dash is the moment because of load applied on analogous column about the centroidal axis because we have a rectangular cross section. The centroid will be this axis and the moment will be written about this point I dash is the second moment of area of cross section of analogous column and X is the distance of a point on column cross section from centroidal axis. So here F will be equals to 1 unit A will be 1 upon EI into L that is equals to L upon EI M dash will be the moment because of the unit load here the lever arm is this distance that is L by 2. So the M dash will be 1 into L by 2 equals to L by 2 and this will be in anti-clockwise sense and I dash will be width into depth cube by 12. So that will be equals to 1 upon EI into L cube by 12 that is equals to L cube upon 12 EI. Now for edge A, XA will be this distance. So XA is L by 2 and for edge B, XB will be this distance. So XB is also equals to L by 2 and because the net moment is in anti-clockwise sense we will use plus sign here for PA. So PA will be equals to F upon A plus M dash upon I dash into XA that will be equals to 1 divided by L upon EI plus M dash is L by 2 divided by L cube divided by 12 EI into XA is L by 2 so that will be equals to EI by L plus L by 2 into 12 EI divided by L cube into L by 2 here this L and this L will cancel L cube so I will be left with L this 2 and 2 4 will cancel this 12 3 times so I am left with EI by L plus 3EI by L that is equals to 4EI by L that is equals to PA and this PA corresponds to the moment at end A of the beam for unit rotation. So KA will be equals to 4EI by L. Now because M dash is anti-clockwise PB will have minus sign. So PB will be equals to F by A minus M dash upon I dash into XP 
that will be equals to 1 divided by L upon EI minus L by 2 divided by L cube by 12 EI into XB is also equals to L by 2 equals to EI by L minus L by 2 into 12 EI by L cube into L by 2 here this L and L will cancel L cube L times this 2 into 4 will cancel this 12 3 times so I am left with equals to EI by L minus 3 EI by L equals to minus 2 EI by L and that is equals to P B. Now the carryover factor from A to B is equals to minus P B upon P A that is equals to minus P B is equals to minus 2 EI by L divided by P A is equals to 4 EI by L here this minus minus will cancel this L will cancel this L this EI will cancel this EI and this 2 will cancel 4 2 times so I'll be left with equals to 1 divided by 2 that is the carryover factor from A to B